Good evening, everybody. We welcome you here to Detroit Renaissance High School as your U of D Jesuit Cubs are taking on the pilots of D. LaSalle. I'm Michael Schubick alongside Sam Robinson in what is expected to be a great matchup here. I... We've lost twice. Are we, are we, oh no, we're good now. We're good now. And a tip. Cubs lose it. De La Salle with the ball. There's number 11. And a three from Phoenix Glasner. Off and out of bounds into the Cubs' possession. Schubeck, what are you looking for during this game? Restricted view right now. We can't see very much. Uh, I'm looking for a lot of... No, UV is known for the little high tempo offense here. Leroy Bryant takes it up the corner on the left side. He's working on number zero, Braden Holder. Moves it, kicks it to Xavier Johnson, who drives. Drives on Spicer, kicks it back out to the right side to Leroy Bryant. Bryant working on the right to David Aron. Aron on the right, moves left, still on the right side. Leroy Bryant Jr. pulls a three, just off. Rebounded by number 32 for Dila Sound and Mecca Akechi, but it's stolen by Ryan Hatcher. Back to Leroy Bryant. Makes a move. Off the backboard and in. That's a great start there from the Cubs. Good defense by Ryan into a Leroy Blyden layup. A little bit of beauty off the black glass there for uh, Leroy Blyden here. De La Salle inbounds the ball to Phoenix Glasner, guarded by Ryan Hatcher. Comes Xavier already... Johnson comes to trap. Comes up are... to number three, Nicholas Spizer, who drives on Gerard McCoy, spins the middle, and a great tip. Playing the paint, kicks it back out. That's number 11. David Heron with good defense. Armani, Almost a travel. Armani Spicer now. Now with Glasner at the top. Resetting the play. Xavier Johnson guarding him. Glasner passes it. Now in the middle with number 32, Namika. Phoenix Glasner. Over to number 11. Out to Braden Holder who tries to bounce the ball. And a steal by the Cubs. Up to Leroy. Up to Xavier. Who's trapped in the paint. Up and in. There we go, 4 nothing Cubs. Well, 4 0 run here for the Cubs to start. A lot of high tempo again. They're already in their full court press. Phoenix Glasner will take it up. Working on Xavier Johnson. He's going to cut. He's on the left side. Moves up to Spice. going to drive. Loses the ball up. It's going to be rebounded by Xavier Johnson. Takes it out in the middle of the court. Kicks left to David Aron. Aron's going to hole up on the left side in control. To Gerard. To Ryan Hatcher on the right side for three. Just off. It's going to be rebounded by Nicholas Spicer. Glasner will take the ball up the court for the Dio South Pilots. On the left side. Spicer works. Moves, spins, midi in the middle of the court. That is a good for Phoenix last one. Ryan Hatcher will take up the right side. Hatcher moving left. It kicks to Blyden who drives. Gets fouled and throws up a prayer. Just falls off. Cubs have a chance to take a four point lead here with Leroy Blyden going to the line. Good start here early from the Cubs. Definitely dominated the ball game so far, although we're only two and a half minutes in. <laughs> We're looking at a high tempo pace here for UD. They come out full court press already. Leroy Wines first, just off short. 4 2 there, but get a nice little steal there from Ryan Hatcher on defense. Convert. You love to see it early on. Leroy with his second. Up and away. It's good. Cubs back in their full court pressure. David are on. The trap in the corner. Great trap. Ryan with. Oh, and they call an unfortunate foul on Ryan. It's pretty good defense. Just reached over the back of Phoenix Glasner. Cubs showing good intensity here to start the game. Yes, refs were an issue in the last game for you to be Jesuit as they gave Ryan Hatcher two fouls early on. Number three, Nicholas Spizer with the ball, bringing it up the court on the right side. He steps back, hits it, goes three. It's off long. Great rebound by David Heron. He looks to push it. Going right down the middle of the court. Stops. Midi. Short. Rebound Phoenix Glasner. And here come the Pilots. Running down the court. Phoenix Glasner resets the play. Gets a screen. Rolls to the hoop. Stops in the paint. Turn around. Air ball. Great defense by the Cubs. The Cubs ball. It's one of the things that the Cubs do well is they're very aggressive on defense. They don't let many teams get to the paint. Great example there. Phoenix had to pull up, hit a mid shot, and he was able to air ball it. Cubs ball. Ryan Hatcher on the right side here. Xavier Johnson kicks it left to David Aron. David Aron on the left side. 
Work out fitness glass or drives right, kicks it back to Gerard in the middle. Gerard kicks out for three. Xavier drops it for three. No good. Rebounded by Brain Holder. Brain Holder takes up the court for the for the pilot. He's on the left side. Pilot drives. Kicks back out to Glassner up top. Glassner in the middle. Working on David Aaron. Moves it to the right, moves it to his right side. He's gonna drive. He's trying to drive. He has no space. USL cannot get inside right now. They move it back up top to Brain Holder. Lose it left to Armani Portis. Portis working on Xavier Johnson. Takes him more to the middle. He drives left. He's going to kick it out. To the Mac catch. He's going to give it back to Armani Portis. Portis in the middle. Shoots a fade. No good. Air ball. Xavier Johnson keeps it in. Ryan Hatcher will take it on the court with Leeway Ryan. Leeway Ryan on the right side. He's going to drive in. Kick it out. Ryan Hatcher for three. Off left. That was a... Terrible miss from Ryan Hatcher, not even rim. Armani Portis on the right side. Hand off to number three. Spencer going left. A three. Air ball once again, and Xavier Johnson just tips off his fingers and goes out of bounds. That's unfortunate play there. Will be deal sell ball. Five to two, Cubs early lead here. 346 left in the first quarter. We'll be showing great defense here early on. Holden inbounding, looking for anybody, somebody. Inbounds to number 32, Nemeka. Armani Portis guarded by Leroy Blyden in the middle of the court. Back out to Phoenix Glasner on his left. Resetting the play, calling some, trying to get this pilot offense going. They're not able to get into the middle at all on this U of D defense. Portis with the ball at the top, now on the left wing with Glasner. Back at the top with Nemeka, guarded by Gerard, Gerard McCoy. To the corner with Holden. Almost stolen by Leroy. Holden bringing it back out. Now to number three, Spencer at the top of the key. They're resetting again. Cubs showing really good defense here to Glasner. Looking for Nemeka but cannot get him. Gerard playing really good defense. Now to Spencer. Back to Glasner. Oh, but stolen Picked by off. Gerard. Stolen by Gerard. He's going up. And almost dunks on somebody. But it's a miss. I believe they're going to call personal here on Gerard because he, hit, he hung they, on the rim. And they call a technical foul. Yes, they uh, Gerard hung on the rim. Do not like that in high school basketball. It is an interesting call, though, because I believe he was just trying to not land on anybody and injure him, which is what the refs are discussing right now. That would be an unfortunate call. Phoenix Blazers are already at the line. But they're just going to give it to the pilots. It's deal That's a small, basketball. smart call there by the officials. He was just trying to get out of the way, not injure anybody. You would just like to see Gerard finish that. Maybe even just get a layup. Just give us two. Yeah, it was an unfortunate little play there for Gerard. Not able to finish the dunk and then hangs on. But Dilasau will have the ball. It's Armani Portis will take it up the court. Ryan Hatcher on the press. Now moves it to Holder. Holder is working on Iran. Holder makes a move back to Armani Portis. He works his way to the middle, drives. Black by Gerard! Ryan Hatcher rebounds, takes it down. Xavier Johnson. For three. Just, just short. Oh. oh. Really got to start converting these transition yes. opportunities. Out to Holden. Drives baseline. Stopped by Xavier. Now back up at top. Leroy guarding Phoenix Glasner. Phoenix between the legs. Looking for the screen. Denies it. Dribble hand off to Holden. Holden now takes the screen. Back to Glasner. Glasner driving middle. Stopped by Heron. And a travel. travel. Great defense by the Cubs. Absolutely phenomenal here in the early going. Cubs have forced multiple turnovers here. Only led to a couple points. Let's see if they can convert on the offensive end now. Ryan Hatcher to inbound the ball. Who throw it to Leroy Blyden. Got a new player in here for De La Salle. Number one, Julius Wilson. As David Ryan takes on the left side, Gerard moves right. Hatcher driving middle. Working on a catchy. It's going to be swatted out of his hands, but Hatcher gets the rebound. Will be a jump ball possession. Should be U of D, but they're going to give it to LaSalle. It's to U of D. It is to U of D. They corrected oh, it. Yeah, all the ref made a, made a very bad error. David Aranda set, set to throw the ball in here for the Cubs. Looking for anybody. Moves it to Blight. Blight on the left side. Xavier Johnson. Xavier Johnson looking for a workout. Gives it to Blight. Blight moves in. Drives down Wilson. Pull up. Just, Just short. short. Oh, no. Gets his own rebound. Leroy gets hit in the head. Ball on the ground. Jump ball again. This time it will go to the Pilots. Man, the Cubs have some great looks here early. Just cannot convert. 
Wyden smacked in the face there, though, on the jump ball. He does appear to be okay. Or loose ball, sorry, correction. Guarding Glasner. Spizer will throw it into Glasner. Have not seen much of Spizer today. He's a big three threat for the for the pilots. Who control up top. Those are the Glasner on the right side. Glasner moves in, pulls up a mid-range. Short. Rebounded by Akechi, who moves it out to Armani Portis on the left side. Working on Xavier Johnson. Armani Portis moves in. Works, spins. Picks up tops. They're set it back up with Spizer. Spizer on Blyden. Take his time here. Going to kick it to Akechi up top. Still not able to penetrate this U of Jesuit defense. He's going to throw it out. Spizer working on Blyden. He's going to move it over to Wilson. Wilson to Akechi. Akechi on the right side. He's going to throw it to Spizer up top. Goes it over to the left side to Glasner. Glasner taking his time. Again, this deal South Pilots offense has been unable to get inside all day, but Glasner's able to break it. Two for the Pilots. Here come the Cubs running up the court. Xavier Johnson on the right side, drives middle, dumps it off to Gerard McCoy, who goes up and... Foul. Wow, questionable call, but they get the foul. That was all hand. We'll take it as a Cubs fan. All right, here we go, Gerard. Now, me and Connor... When we did the fill the bowl game, Gerard went two for two from the free throw line one time. And he had like five chances. Let's see if he can go two for two here. Get the Cubs up to seven points. There's one. First one is good. Gerard second of two. Holden checking back in for the Pilots. Akechi will take a seat with only 38 seconds left here in the first quarter. Gerard with the second, six to four Cubs. Pilots are going no big, big man. Catchy six seven. Misses three rebounded by Aaron. Let's make a layup, Cubs. Unable to finish at all with two beautiful chances by the rim. Holder will throw it to Glaster. 28 seconds left here in the first quarter. Six to four Cubs. It's been a very low scoring quarter. Glaster on the left side. He's working on Xavier Johnson. Glaster taking his time. I think they want this to be the last possession. He's going to move it over to Armani Portis. Ten left on the clock. Portis on, uh, on Gerard. Moves to the Spizer. Oh, no. Blaster shoots a highly contested three. No good. Blaster's going to take it up. Throw the half quarter. Oh, oh just off the backboard to right. Six to four, your score here in the first quarter. We'll be back in 60 seconds. And we're back here at the start of the second quarter. Cubs up 6-4. to four. Will be Cubs ball. I am now joined by Connor Laylaw, who has taken over for Michael Schubeck. Connor, what have you thought so far? It's been a very low-scoring game. A lot of turnovers. Not really what I expected from this type of game late in the season. Looks like we just got a defensive battle. Ryan Hatcher drives in, kicks it out to David Heron, who takes the three. He's off. Cubs have not made a sub yet, which is... Quite interesting. Green Holder with the ball at the top. Guarded tightly by Zay. Xavier Johnson. 
Now Armani dribbles to the right side of the court. Now back to the middle, guarded by Ryan. Great defense. Xavier Johnson with the tip. Holden with the ball at the top, setting a play. Holden, now, number zero. Represents the number of points he has so far in this game, but let's see if Dio Sal can swing the momentum. Drives in, puts up a layup. No good. They get the rebound, though. Goes up again. Spencer with the points. But the Cubs looking to push here quite quickly. Gerard down low. Gets stopped to Blyden. Easy two. Great job there by the Cubs out in transition. Glasner looking to on the ball. Gets it into Armani. Guarded tightly. Now back to Glasner. Glasner Full throws a press. terrible pass. Xavier Johnson intercepts it. Leroy with the ball. Attacks at Glasner. Kick out. Ryan Hatcher. Corner three. Short. Oh, but Xavier Johnson so tips it out to Gerard. Three. Oh, Off again. Xavier Johnson, another offensive rebound. And a foul. He gets a foul. One of those. You, they needed one of those to drop. Yeah, Cubs have been about 0 for 4 from 3 right now. You know what I always say. First to break double digits is going to win the game. You do always say that. Linus Gauman checking into the game along with Amari. Nope, that is Jaden Garwood. <laughs> Ryan Hatcher with the ball going straight into the defense. Oh, takes Goes an up hard hit. It will be a foul on number 32, Akechi. I believe that it is. That is his second. He bounces right back up. Nevertheless, Ryan Hatcher will go to the line for two. 6.26 left here in the second. Ryan, first shot up and off. Cubs have just been off with their shooting tonight. Really need to get this figured out if we're going to have a good game here. Akichi, Akichi subbing out now. Ryan with the second, up, and rattles in. That's good for the Cubs. Linus Gauman guarding Phoenix Glaser on the inbound here. Looking to just get into somebody, and they do. Full court press. Braden Holden gets the ball on a terrible pass. Number one with the ball. Oh, Leroy jumps. Julius Every straight Wilson up great right block. Oh, they get the ball back in easy two there for De La Salle. Isaiah Jones drops in the layup. Cubs are going to call a timeout. Coach Donnelly visibly upset. Next points here will break the 10-point barrier. Get them into double digits. Yes, it will. Cubs have a slight student section tonight. Not what we were hoping for, but, you know, you can only hope for so much. So, you know, as the games get farther and farther along in these playoffs, the more and more people that should show up. Obviously, Sebastian is out tonight, ineligible to play. That definitely hurts the Cubs down low as their starting big man is out. Cubs def defensively have been really good, only giving up eight points here with a quarter and two minutes in. But here we go. Dio Sal coming back out, set up on defense. English, they're, they're delivering some water to the team and then taking a cup for his own. The Cubs will inbound with Ryan Hatcher. Leroy is guarded tightly by number 13, Isaiah Jones. Showing a little bit of full court press here, but not too much. They're teasing him with it. They are. Brings the ball up. He gets a pick. Leroy kicks it out to Galman and gives it back to Garwood. Out to Hatcher, who's going to drive to the middle. Back to Garwood for the three. Bang! Finally got one to go down for the Cubs. It is the sophomore, Jaden Garwood. The youngest player on this team. Cubs showing more full court pressure. Oh, actually, they rule. Oh, no, they did rule that three. There we go. Uh, First over 10 point barrier. Okay. Ryan Hatcher going for the steal. Misses it. Now to Armani. Now to number 13, Isaiah. Linus jumps. Great defense recovery. Enforces the air ball. Leroy, Leroy takes a shoulder to the chest. Barely stays in bounds, getting the ball to Xavier Johnson. Back to Leroy up the court. Drives and spins. Out to Xavier. Oh, He's going to get called for a travel, I think. That is unfortunate. Oh, no, it looks like it's going to be a blocking foul. 
on De La Salle. Wow, that is not what I thought it was going to be, but, you know, we'll take every call that we can get. Ryan Hatch will inbound the ball for the Cubs here. I would look for Leroy coming off the screen. First Xavier, then Leroy. Out to Leroy. Easy jumper. Bang! Bang! Another one. Only a two that time, just inside the three-point line, but the Cubs have suddenly found their stroke. 14-8. to eight. Cubs double-teaming. Out to Spencer. Spencer takes the three. And That's good two it. for the Pilots. All of a sudden, both teams have found a little fire on offense. Three-point barrage here from both teams. Ryan Hatcher with the ball going to the right. Hand off to Jaden Garwood. Now it's Xavier who gives the ball to Gauman in the middle who now hands it off to Ryan. Ryan attacks right through the middle. Had an easy layup. Gets the ball tipped and it appears to have gone off his knee to the Pilots. Kind of reminded me of 2017-2018 James Harden there with the Euro step. Did. Back in Houston. Good times. Holden has checked back in for the Pilots guarded by Leroy. Linus looking to show pressure but does not is guarding Isaiah. Oh Isaiah my gets past him. Easily. And drops in the teardrop. That's going to put 14 to 13. Cubs lead by one. Leroy taking it up the court. Gets a screen from Jaden Garwood. Gets a little push off. Step back. Bang. Bang. Man, has Leroy looked good in these past minute and 30 seconds. Kind of looked like LeBron there with the step back fader. Now Spencer with the ball, guarded tightly by Ryan Hatcher. Pass it off. Ryan Hatcher now picks up Phoenix Glasner, who brings in this paint. Great Gets defense stuffed. again. Oh, stuffed. my goodness. Ryan just putting on an absolute defensive brush, and now he goes for the three. He and misses, off again. but they get but the Jane rebound. Garwood with an absolute dog of a board, and then travels. Oh. How unfortunate. You used barrage wrong back there. A defensive clinic, I think, is the word you were looking for. Yeah. Barrage just came to mind. Cubs will now show four court pressure as they have all game. Gerard McCoy checking back in for Garwood. Armani with the ball guarded tightly by David Heron. Somebody's looking to trap. You just got to find when the right time is. That time is not now. David Heron playing good defense. Armani hands it off to Phoenix Glasner, who then hands it off to Isaiah. Cubs miscommunication, elbow jumper, and off. Rebound, Xavier Johnson. Pushing Xavier. it up the right side. Oh, nice cross, but lost the ball. S does not save it and gives the ball back to the Pilots. Sloppy here from the Cubs, quite sloppy. He's got a spark plug in him, that's for sure. He's got a motor like a Ford. He can run and run, but sometimes he just gets a little too jumpy to handle the ball. Yes. Great player for the Cubs, though. Great way to describe him. Now Linus, who gets passed again really a questionable call number one Julius Wilson with the and one 6'2 175 going against Linus Gauman there he's gonna get his first and it appears that Linus will be coming out yeah Linus is gonna check out for Ryan Hatcher Linus showing a little bite back to Donley which you don't see from players but he is a well-respected athlete so he has that power. Donnelly still giving him some words on the bench, going yeah. back and forth. Free throw up and away, it's good. And all of a sudden, we got a tie ball game. Linus will be attending Old Miss come next fall. Not for a sport, just to be clear. Three minutes left here in the second quarter. Leroy calls for the screen. Gerard gives it to him. Out to Ryan. Ryan looking to attack, does. Out to Xavier. Xavier attacks, loses the ball, gets it back. Out to Ryan. Ryan drives. Easy layup. Nice layup there Great by job Ryan there Hatcher. by Ryan. Has really been a big player for the Cubs lately. Armani now bringing up the ball, guarded it's be 18 by to 16. Ryan Hatcher. Ryan. 18 to 16, Cubs lead. Kicks it back out to number 23, Phoenix Glasner. Who will be attending school next year for basketball. Where? Phoenix, Phoenix that is. Where? Uh, he has not committed yet. How do we know he's playing basketball? Because it says on his Instagram he's playing oh. basketball. Okay. You take it, Phoenix. And he takes a nice shot from right just outside you. the arc. 
inside the arc, it appears they give him two for that one. 18 to 18, all tied up. David yeah. Heron with the ball. He's gonna dribble to the middle, crossover, passes it back out to Leroy, who's gonna drive in, take a little floater and make it. That was awkward looking, but you know it goes in. That looked a little Cassius-esque. Points are points. They are. David Heron now guarding Phoenix Glasner. They throw a cross-court pass, which could have been very stealable for Xavier. Oh, no, he just gets he is lost wide open. in the sauce. De La Salle capitalizes off that defensive breakdown right there, taking the lead for the first time tonight, 20-21. Armani, to 21. Armani with that three, but Leroy all of a sudden decides to take over the game. Little crossover in the paint, gets two to go, and the Cubs retake the lead. Kind of oh. looked like me out there for a second. What a terrible call by the referee there. Xavier Johnson picking up just a silly foul, 88 feet from the basket. About that. <laughs> the Cubs will be on defense. Phoenix looking to inbound the ball and giving it to number one. Julius Wilson. That's the name. Guarded by number one, Xavier Johnson. The one-on-one -on -one matchup. Julius Wilson, only a sophomore. Ball at the top of the key. Armani with the ball, guarded by Xavier Johnson. Looking, looking, probing, looking. Attacks, spins, pivots, reverse, and gets a nice roll. Quite nice shot there, but here comes Leroy. Vengeance in his eyes, I can see it. Pulls up from three. Bang! Oh my goodness. Leroy is hot, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, he's got the last seven for the Cubs. Gives the Cubs the lead right there. 25 to 23 with about 30 seconds left here in Gerard the second period. playing great defense. The Cubs, you can feel a little bit of momentum going their way. Cubs and De La Salle is not their first time matching up as they've played each other before already. They did split in the season earlier. Phoenix guarded by Ryan. All of a sudden the student section starts to get loud. Phoenix drives. Oh, and just not a great Ryan Hatcher picks up a pushing foul. Not good. Not good at all. 15.2 seconds left in this first half of very exciting basketball. And all of a sudden Linus Gauman checking back in the game who takes out Ryan Hatcher. An expected Ryan, sub when Ryan has two fouls. Ryan got in foul trouble early last game and to sit for the whole third quarter. Yeah, we do not want that this game. Oh, Gerard with a steal. Gerard. Let's finish it this time, Gerard. Big man basketball! There's a foul. There's a train coming to town and Gerard is running it. It was a foul on number three, Spencer. Gerard McCoy will go to the line. Gerard putting his shoulder down right as he gets in there. Real physical guy. Looking back at Coach Donnelly for the play call after he makes these free throws. Maybe he wants to miss the second one, give him an opportunity for a three-point play. Probably not, though. Crazier things have happened. Gerard's first free throw is going to be a miss. So the three-point play is out of the question unless they grab the rebound and hit a three. That would equal three. Maybe they get fouled and make it a four-point play. That would be something. Wouldn't expect that, ladies and gentlemen. No, Why 11 not? seconds left here in the second quarter. Gerard to shoot his second with the long sleeve shirt on today. And it's up. And it's in. 26-23, Cubs holding with the ball. Linus Gallman guarding him. Cubs Zero on number 10, attacking to number 13. Out to number one. Oh, and he just attacks too easily. Gets an easy layup, and that will be the end of the half. 26-25, Cubs lead, but a little bit of momentum for the Pilots going into the half. That last basket really deflated the Cubs sails right there. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you after halftime.
and we are back here from halftime. The, the University of Detroit Jesuit up by one, 26-25 over the Pilots. Connor, what did you see there in the first half? Not a lot of scoring in the first quarter. Both teams kind of picked it up in the second, but still a pretty low scoring game from what I would have expected this late in the season. TUSA was able to break into U of D's defense a little more in the second in, in the second quarter. Some of the Cubs get in foul trouble, having to be sat for a little bit, like Ryan Hatcher, who was starting to catch fire there. All right, we read Spizer set to check in the ball for DSL. Those are the holder. Holders on David Aran. On the left side is Holder. He's moving back to the middle. Drives in. Kicks out to Nemeka. Nemeka, Kachi, will throw it to Armani Portis, who drives under. Kicks it to Phoenix Glaster on the right side. Spins. Throws it to Akechi. Akechi back to Glaster. Glaster on the right side still. Working on Gerard. Glaster looking to pass. Those are the spies are on the left. More on the left, Portis. Portis working on Iran. Portis still with the ball on the left side outside. Drives, kicks it back out the holder on the right. The spies are in the corner. Great defense here by the Cubs. It's unable to penetrate is De La Salle. Working in on the left side. Kicks it over to Phoenix Glaster on the left. This is why some people say high school needs a shot clock. Yes, this is a lot of time being up here by De La Salle. Glasser drives off the backboard. No good. Rebounded by Spizer who lays it in. Taking almost a full minute of possession there with that just to get the two points. And U of D loves to play quick basketball. So De La Salle killed a lot of the clock in that. That's why that first quarter was so low scoring. We were all, yeah. On the left side, David Aran on the right, moves middle, looking around. Leader right now on the right, working on Glasner. Looking around, drives in, spins. Loses the ball a little bit, throws to the Hatcher in the middle. Hatcher drives in, looking, throws oh it up, goodness. and he's fouled. Is that the next Jelly Fam member right there, <laughs> Ryan Hatcher? Tries to throw it off the glass as he's falling down. Doesn't quite get the spin he wanted off of it, but he's going to be at the line for two. He gets two free throws, though. First of two for Ryan Hatcher. First one's up, and good. it's good. Ryan Hatcher with some beautiful pink shoes. Not really matching the U of D colors. I wouldn't call those pink as much as a, a red blush. Salmon. Brian Hatcher misses his second. It's all tied up, 27 to 27. Armani Portis controls, still Cubs with the full court press. Portis bringing it up for the USL. Wyden on defense. Portis on the left side. He's gonna work his way back right. Wyden pokes it free. Xavier Johnson gets the ball. They're gonna take it up. Slow as he drives spin out to Gerard McCoy in the middle. Right side Hatcher. Working on Spicer, throws it to Xavier Johnson, pull up. Mitty good! Xavier Johnson there, the junior hitting that. It's a beautiful mid-range shot there from Xavier Johnson. Phoenix Glasner will take it up for the Pilots. Couple of scouts in the stands we've seen already, like Davenport. Adrian College, we did see them as well. Here we go, Phoenix. Glasner in the middle, looking around. He works his way right. He's working on Xavier Johnson. Throws it up to Mecca Akechi, but it's... He's going to be on the floor. He's the tallest player on the court, standing at 6'7". They call David Aran for a push. Although the ball was loose. See you. Oh, he didn't finish the chant. What'd you say? Like the Cubs chant? See oh. you. No. Okay. Well, the Pilots are going to inbound the ball here. <laughs> Glassed on the right side. Up and under, beautiful way in from Phoenix Glasner, and that's two more for Dilasau. We're tied here, 29-29 with 5.26 left. It's gonna be a quick throw up to Xavier Johnson, who's gonna drive it on Spicer, gets the contact, and it falls! The bucket goes in as Xavier Johnson goes down. He pops right back up and is now getting talked to by Coach Donnelly. He's got the N1 opportunity here. I don't know if he was congratulating how good of a shot that was. It didn't look like it. Probably another, probably a play call. That he told the one player. He's supposed to spread the news. All right, here we go. Xavier Johnson. We have number 13 here for De La Salle checking in. Number one for De La Salle. That will be Julius Wilson and Isaiah Jones. Xavier Johnson to convert on the N1. He will. Kabang. Three. 
32 to 29. Three point lead here for the Cubs. Wilson will take it up on Aram. Aram will throw it to Portis. Full court press almost worked again. It's gonna be tipped off of U of D. De La Salle ball. De La Salle slowly inching the ball closer. Great. Five minutes and 13 seconds left here in the third quarter. Great defense here from U of D. They've kept De La Salle taking their long possessions that are, they get two, but U of D bounces back with more points. Holder will control for De La Salle in the middle. He's on Xavier Johnson. Holder still in the middle. Moves to DeGlasnor, who moves back to the middle case to the right side to Brayden Holder in the middle to, on the right corner to Wilson. Wilson spins, moves it on the right far. DeGlasnor just takes a pull-up three and drains wow. it. Wow. From way downtown. It's a deep three from Phoenix Glasnor to tie it up. Leroy Blyden moves right. Xavier Johnson will drive in. Looks. He has big contact. He gets a charging call there. Xavier Johnson dragging his hips across his head right there. That's an unfortunate, unfortunate foul for you. Xavier Johnson had a lot of room. He went up for the lay-in. A little too much contact. Foul shoots it after the whistle. Some might think that should be a flagrant right there. He shot the ball after the whistle was blown. Ah. It's going to be a timeout here. Is it U of D timeout or D of South timeout? Could be either one. They both have some left. Four minutes, 38 seconds it left. It will be a U of D timeout. Four minutes, 38 seconds left here in the third. 32 to 32. Donnelly, a great coach here for U of D. Probably going to draw up one of his famous plays. Yes, unfortunately, though, this is what, this is the moment the Cubs have dropped two games in the last two years. They went home in the regional semifinal. That's where they hope to get the monkey off their back and make a little run. 32-32 here. Amen to that. 4.38 left in the third quarter. Your five for U of D are Blyden, Hatcher, Johnson, McCoy, and Aaron. Wyden set to throw the ball in. David Heron had a nice little spree there in the first, but is now going quiet. Yes. You get Le let Leroy back on track as well. Yeah, Leroy brings up the core now, passes it to Xavier. Xavier calling for the pick back, gives it to Leroy. Cubs looking like they're running the play that was just drawn up in the huddle. Gives Xavier the ball, great pass there by Ryan. Kicks it out to Gerard, back up to Leroy. Takes it in and gets fouled. Beautiful, beautiful That's... physical, able to fight through the physicality. Leroy Blyden, draw the foul. That's Phoenix Glasner with another foul. Hatcher set to throw the ball in. Looking, throws it, Gerard McCoy up top. Working on Wilson. Throw it into Hatcher. Hatcher leaves open, gets some defense on him, but makes the layup. Beautiful lay for Ryan Hatcher. Cubs go right back to this full court defense. Cubs not going to give this Pilots offense an inch of space. No, Glassman will take it up. He hit the game winner against them in January. Glassman step back three. Drano. In Hatcher's face. What a shot from Phoenix Glassner. Once in a lifetime moment right there for him. Leroy Bryan will take it up, 34-35, 3.35 left. Gives it to Ryan, over to David. David David's going to give it to Gerard at the top of the key, back to Xavier. Xavier with some nice crossovers, turns around, shoots, and it's good. Hits him with the he's still eating celebration. 3.14 left here in the, in the third, 36-35. to 35. Cubs steal the ball. Ryan Hatcher with the steal, out to Leroy. He's gonna go off the iron, just misses short. The gym was excited. Gerard's gonna go, good defense, not getting the block, but stopping him from taking the shot. Leroy taking it up the court. He's gonna be double teamed, gives it out to David, who can't corral it. It's gonna be Cubs ball, though, off number one. Julius Wilson, the sophomore. 
Anything to add to that, Sam? Not much. That was a pretty exciting, exciting span of seconds. David, David Heron to inbound the ball, gives it to Leroy. Leroy takes a floater from the baseline, gets his own miss, puts it back up, two points. 38-35 Cubs. Leroy playing great defense. Leroy throwing the body a little bit. Oh, they go for a layup and easy layup there. De La Salle coach trying to call a timeout and gets it. He may have gotten it. He did get it. I'm not sure where it was going. 38 to 37, Cubs lead. 232 left here in the third. What are you trying to see here for the rest of the quarter, Connor? It's weird. It's 2-3, 2-3. 2-32. Left in the third. Carry the three. Wow, that is quite insane. I'm looking to see some more buckets out of U of D here in the rest of the game. Much fewer by De La Salle. Who's, you know, that unexpected player that you think could step up for the Cubs here? I still like to put my faith in Amari Cannon. Only player with the warm-up jacket still on, but I I think it's going to happen for him tonight. Legacy game right here. I would like to say that it's going to be Ryan Hatcher. That's also a good guess. As Thank we you. We do not know because we can't tell the future, so either of us could be right. Only time will tell. Yes, and the Cubs will inbound the ball. Leroy to inbound it. He will give it to Xavier. Back to Leroy. And here we go. Leroy bring up the ball on the left side. Guarded tightly by Isaiah Jones. Oh, gets great by him. cross. Floater off. Amari with the rebound for Dio Sal. A trap here by the Cubs. Oh, and travel. Great defense by the Cubs. He's walking all the way home with how many times he moved those feet. Leroy to inbound the ball. Just kidding. It's going to be Ryan to inbound the ball. They got us just like they got the other team. Wow, they are good. De La Salle looks lost on defense before the whistle. Leroy catches the ball. Now attacks down the right side. Pivots, pivots. Floater. And got it's it. good. Leroy really taking over the game here on the offensive end for the Cubs. Leroy takes the three-point lead, 40-37. to 37. Phoenix Glasner with the ball on the right side. Leroy pokes it free, but he somehow gets it back and a foul on David Heron. Didn't see the foul there as David just looked like he was trying to make a play on the loose ball. Yeah, that was a questionable call, but David Heron will get subbed out, replaced Jayden by Jaden Garwin. Yes. Who replaces David Heron. Phoenix Glasner will inbound the ball for the Pilots. Guarded by Leroy. Inbounded to now Adrian. Adrian back to Glasner. Good contest there by Garwin. Out, that should be out on De La Salle. And, and it, it will is. Be. What a call by me. And the referees. But I wasn't as close, so mostly me. Now the ball to Leroy, who will prance up the floor. Directing traffic. Giving the ball to Xavier. Xavier attacking, attacking. Stops. Guarded closely and stolen. He loses it. Uh-oh. It's going to be a fast break there for the... Oh. For the pilots as he goes up, misses, comes down hard. That was number 11, Amari Portis right there. He will head to the free throw line for two shots. A 6'3", 175-pound junior. That's how I'm built. No, not. The first free throw up and away, good. 40-38, Cubs. Sam, the sixth grade Knights of Columbus free throw champion. Tell us what you're thinking when you're at the line. You know, you really just got to lock in, lock out the noise. Probably the best free throw shooter this school's ever seen. Hasn't so. played competitive basketball in a little over three years at this point. Two, actually, but who's counting? Now Leroy dribbling the ball up the court. Pilots have switched into a zone defense. It's giving the Cubs a little bit of confusion, but, you know, it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too much for them. Out to Xavier. Now to Ryan, to Leroy. Well, maybe it has caused him a little. Oh, but up to Xavier. And wow, what a strange oop. But Xavier with the terrific left-handed finish. Xavier showing his length right there on that play. Yes, he, he did. He stretches out to tip it in. 
Xavier now guarding Amari, who drives past him, stops on a dime, up, midi, good. Man, some offensive spurts going now. Whoa, 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 let's Dane slow it down here. It's a smart pass by not, not throwing that dangerous pass there to Xavier. Leroy with the ball now on the left wing for the Cubs to Gerard at the elbow. Gerard dribbling, dribbling off his foot and to the Pilots. 42-41 Cubs. See right there from U of D. Only with a one-point lead. 28 seconds left here in this quarter. You'd expect the Pilots to take the last shot. Glasner. Expect the unexpected. They yes. are walking it up the court, so it may be a little more expected now. Leroy guarding Glasner. Directing traffic, going to the right side of the floor now. Looking for the screen, does not get it. Oh, no, and just, gosh. A you know, heartbreaker here. And 37 and a half feet away from the basket. You just, there's no reason to foul there if you're Jaden. Only 4.9 seconds. Could you, give him an easy two points right here. Yeah, great free throw shooter. That's Phoenix Glasner. Also their starting wide receiver. Standing at six foot, 170 pounds, drains the first. Tie game. All the pressure in the gym is on him right now. Yes, it is. To, give, to give them the lead. Ryan standing in the right corner, looking for the long pass. Spaghetti. Free throw up, and oh, good. Oh, good, he beat the spaghetti curse. Now Leroy dribbling, three, two, there's Gives a steal. The ball to them. Oh, Gerard shoots it! Bang! And oh air balls. That goodness. was not even close. An early bang call from Connor did not help. It is 43-42 De La Salle at the end of the third quarter. We will be back in 58 seconds. All right, here we go. We are back in action here for the fourth quarter. Now, now with live video of the announcers here. Yes, back with Michael. See, you can see both of us now. Some last-minute ingenuity by yours truly. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ryan Hasher set to throw the ball in. It's going to make it more difficult to see, but we do it for the view of the people. Here we go. We <laughs> Ray Biden on the right side. Working on Holder. Gerard McCoy directing traffic out there. Kick to Hatcher, fakes the three, double team comes. Those left side Blyden. Working on Glasner, back in the middle to Hatcher. On the right side to Johnson. Johnson in the middle to Greenwood. Garwood, Garwood sorry. Blyden up top. Blyden moves it to Johnson on the right side. Johnson back, throws back to the middle to Blyden. Blyden to Johnson. To back to Hatcher, to Blyden on the left side. Cross court to Hatcher, who drives in, pulls up mid range. No good. Rebounded by Glaster. Glaster is now going to bring it up. Passing it over to number 11 as he drives in for the one-handed layup. That's good. Armani Portis makes it 45-42. Deal us out. Wyden takes it up on holder. Kick to Xavier Johnson. Xavier getting talked to now by number zero, Braden Holder. Jersey still represents the number of points he has in this game. <laughs> He's going to be a foul here on Deal us out. He'll be on the floor. Sorry, two free throws. 
Not sure which player got called at that, but I know Akechi was down there. Seeing it at 6'7", 220. It's a big body down there for the Pilots. Xavier Johnson shooting one of two. Boom. Makes the first. He needs both of these. Cubs now down two. I could almost hear the splash as it went in. It's buttery. One of the prettiest shooting strokes in the game. Xavier Johnson is second of two. And it's good. Two for two there for Xavier Johnson to bring it to a one point deficit. David Aaron checks in for Jaden Garwood. Pilot still in the lead. Holder set to check it in. Holder looking to try to find someone. Rebounds it into Armani Portis who throws it back to Holder. Holder drives up the right side. Throws Probably it to Glasser. To travel there. And it's going to. Just be straight out. No tip on Blyden. It'll be U of D Jesuit basketball. Here we go. Blyden takes it up in the middle. Takes it on the right side to Johnson. Johnson back in the middle to Hatcher. Hatcher on the left side to Blyden. Blyden throws it up to Xavier Johnson. Oh, oh, Xavier wanted the oop. Catches it and just tries to get a little too high there. Donnelly not happy with that. As the gym would have erupted. That was so close to perfection there from Xavier Johnson and Leroy Blyden. They will have another year to play together. Yes, Glasser driving in on Gerard. He misses. Johnson still upset with himself for missing that easy dunk right there. Johnson, I believe, just got called for a push. Will be deal with Sal basketball. Holder set the throw it in. Looking around, those do a catchy. A catchy, bully ball and Gerard makes the shot. 47-44, De La Salle. Hatcher takes it up the court quick. Hatcher working, throws it right on the right side to Leroy Blyden. Blyden on Holder. Throws it into Xavier Johnson, out to Hatcher, fakes the three, moves around, kicks it out to Xavier Johnson, who will shoot a three, and he Good. makes it! Bang! 47! 47! Cubs tied up there with that three from Johnson. Full court press now going into effect as Lever and Bladen takes it. He'll throw it up to Armani Portis. And Gerard. Gerard will be called with a foul of some kind. Do not know what it is. I believe it might have been a block. Here you go, Akechi. Move to Spicer. On the left side here for Tilo Sal. Armani Portis will shoot a long three. No that good. good. Rebounded by Akechi. That one will go in. He'll finish it. Blyden will take it up the left side for the Cubs quick here. He slows himself down. Moves it to the middle to Aaron. Aaron gives it up to Hatcher. Hatcher working in the middle. Throws it to Xavier Johnson. Back to Blyden in the middle. Hatcher on the left side. Hatcher, they're looking for Xavier Johnson running around. He'll get it to him. Johnson on Spicer, drives the middle. Works himself back out, throws it to Hatcher on the left side, drives in. Looks, throws it to Gerard. Gerard on a catchy, who kicks out to Xavier Johnson, driving in, hesitating. Gerard rebound, rebounded by David Aaron, who, who lays it good. in. 49, 49. Cubs tie it up, going against the big body down in the paint, a catchy. Cubs do not exactly have the size to match him, but they beat him with athleticism. Yes, 49, 49 here. With four minutes and 40 seconds left to go in a, the fourth quarter. Going to be a call on Xavier Johnson now. Cubs are in a lot of foul trouble. Five last quarter. They already have three this quarter. Got to leave Xavier Johnson in the game. That was one of the Cubs, Cubs main point scorers here late. Yeah, here we go. Armani Portis will drive in on Hatcher. Wonder if he's related to Bobby Portis. Believe they called Hatcher for a hold. Interesting. Both of them ended up on the floor. Didn't really see a hold there. I think they may have gotten their feet a little tangled up. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't really see much action there from Hatcher with his hands, but Holder will throw it in for De La Salle. We'll throw it into a catchy. We'll try to bully ball it up and loses it. Rebounded by Blyden. Or Take it by Blyden. Behind the back. Moves up. Floater. Gone. Lead U of D. 51-49. 4.15 left. 
Holder looking to throw it in. Throws it in to Glasner. Huge buckets right there by the Cubs. Yes. Now they need a defensive stop here. Glasner making his way down the court. He's working on Boyd on the left side. He'll drive in. Kicks himself back out. Kicks it to Armani Portis. will throw up a three. And he That's drains it. Good. Ugly shot, but it goes in, giving the Pilots the lead, 52-51. to 51. Cubs will control here. Xavier Johnson Xavier in the for corner three for three. No That's good. no good. It'll Cubs will not get the rebound either. Braden Holder goes into a catchy. Who barely makes the layup. 54-51, De La Salle with three minutes and 37 seconds left here. Timeout, U of D Jesuit. Good timeout there by Downley to slow the pace down. And yeah, they took the lead, and unfortunately, a big three by Armani Portis just flipped it all around. Not what we needed to see there from the Cubs. What do you think they need to do coming out of this timeout? Make their shots. I mean, that's about as simple as it can get. I mean, they're, they're getting good offensive possessions here. It just doesn't seem like they're finishing them off the way that they, they should be, given the opportunities that they're getting. Defense still looks pretty solid. Yes, but just unfortunately, like, these outside threes are just falling for De La Salle right now is not good for U of D. Can't ask to guard him 30 feet away from the basket, but... I mean, I guess you have to at this point. Akechi's being a force down low. He is. Yes, we'll see here. 15 seconds left here in the timeout. Akechi, the only senior on this team besides Nicholas Spizer, but he has not checked in the game much, number three. Yes, you know, he's, he's normally a long ball threat. He started for him, he's in the game now. We'll see what goes on here in the last three, three and a half minutes. A three ties it, two gets you too closer. <laughs> <laughs> two will get them too closer, that's one a, away from being tied. That is a very, very smart assumption from me. Here we go, Leroy Blyden up the middle. Working on Holder, throws it on the right side to Xavier Johnson, who'll throw it back to Hatcher, back to Blyden on the left. Blyden, they're looking for Johnson. Who'll throw it to Johnson. Johnson works on the works around, throws it to the middle to Blyden. Blyden is in the middle. He's throw gonna on kick it to Johnson. On the left side. Well, now back to Blyden on the right. All the way over to Hatcher for three! And oh! Good! Hatcher ties the game. Just the right amount of points. 54 to 54, three minutes left here in the fourth. Beautiful, beautiful shot there from Ryan Hatcher. Cubs tie it up, 54, 54, three minutes, just under three minutes left to play. Miss Cooper can barely stand to look at the game as it being too stressful for her. Uh, Braden Holder working on David Aaron. They're gonna call a ghost foul on Ryan Hatcher. Weird, he wasn't near the ball. And he wasn't even moving. Explain that one. Everybody versus U of D. That's usually how it goes. I mean, apparently Hatcher has four, four or five fouls. I'm four. I think if he had five, he'd be out of the game right now. Well, I'm just wondering because I didn't know if like, he was going to check out now. Nicholas Spizer is going to take his free throws, and he makes the first one, giving the Pilots another one-point lead. Spizer, second of two. He makes them both. He makes the second one, giving the two-point lead, 56 to 54 to the Pilots. Hatcher's gonna bring the ball up, guarded by number 11, Amari Portis. Hatcher drives in, foul. Foul on Nicholas, uh, Nicholas Spizer. Wait, no, they're gonna give it to Armani Portis. Armani Portis there. Taking the foul. Hatcher's going to be the line for two. <laughs> a little too physical. He needs two here. Makes the first. Yelling and all. It sounded like there was a caged bird in here somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. There's one, one, it's one guy every time that just screams. I've heard it at both ends, though. Oh. Hatcher makes both. Hatcher knocking down to tie the game up again. Just continues to be the answer that the Cubs need. Yes, two and a half minutes left to play here. Glasner with the ball for DeLis on the left side. Double team comes. 
He throws it to Armani Portis, who will get by David Aaron. Gerard off, rebounded by Hatcher, who just loses it out of Hatcher bounds. runs into McCoy on the baseline, going for the rebound, and they go out of bounds. It'll be De La Salle basketball. 2.20 left here to play in the fourth quarter. Akechi's going to check back in here for Wilson. Holder to throw the ball in. Cubs starting five out there. This ref doesn't want to call push by Armani Portis, but he'll call Hatcher for a ghost foul. Holder looking to throw it in. Throws it deep out to Glasner, who will stop. De La Salle probably going to take one of their longer possessions here, as there's only two minutes left. This game is going to be down to the wire. It looks like neither team's being able to pull away. Yeah, Spicer will drive in. Oh, rebounded by Akechi. Who Akechi lays in. puts it up. Cubs being lazy on the boards right there. I mean, it's hard to rebound when the guy's got three, four inches on you. Here we go. Leroy, Leroy. working on Portis. Spins off. It was on a catchy. There's no way he's getting that off. Throws the Hatcher. Back to Blyden. Blyden on the top. Moves right. Blyden moves in. They call a foul there on Amani Portis. Ryan Hatcher to inbound right here. Catcher's going to come back out. Wilson check back in. Looks like. I'm sorry, a catchy will check out. Not sure why Akechi's checking out as they were driving off those putbacks. Foul on Leroy Blyden. He'll Leroy go to the line for two. Line. Leroy, a pretty consistent shooter all night. He needs both of these here to tie the game back up with a minute 34 left. Yes. Now, this is kind of striking me as a similar ending to the game back in January where De La Salle took a narrow lead. Leroy sorry. barely making the first one as it bounces off a couple times and then falls. Yes, remind me, sorry, of a game in January when U of D had a late lead by one. And with about three seconds, four seconds left, Phoenix Glasner walked right down the court and made a heavily contested two to win the game. Leroy, Leroy. just off. Holder will take it up the court. A catchy checking so. back in. Seems like they're keeping a catch in for offense as much as possible, but then they check back Wilson every once in a while. Wilson's still standing up. They're going to call a hold on Blyden. Although, again, Jim is in an outrage. Nothing's happened. Like, there was no hold there by Blyden. Cubs have not been able to get a call all playoffs so far. 57 to 58. Just two free throws here for Phoenix Glasner. First of two. It's a pretty good free throw shooter. Makes, makes the first. The first one. A minute and 19 seconds left here. 57 59. De La Salle Glasters. Two second of two free throws. Cubs need a miss here just to make it a one possession game. Well, it will be a one possession game no matter what. Now we've got to hit a three, though. It's still one possession. The percentage is much lower. Tell me I'm wrong. I mean, you're not wrong, but it's still one possession. David Heron working <laughs> on the far right side. Gives it up top. Goes over to Hatcher on the right or the left, depending on how you look at the court. Dave, you're looking to pass the ball out. Gives it back to Leroy. Leroy working on Portis now. Drives in. Looks out to Johnson. Johnson takes the three. Just short. Jump ball. U of D ball. Donley heated as they get as Lear ends up on the floor with no call. That was a brutal, like the brutal no call by these refs. This is absolutely terrible. This woman should lose her job. Cubs are gonna get a timeout now. 48 seconds left, down by three, 57 to 60. They're going to have to foul now, as, but Blyden was just thrown blatantly to the hardwood. And that no call. Matt, Bla Matt Blaze tuned into the game. 
from his heart couch. wrencher from him, he says, I am all-star center for U of D, just a huge piece of the Cubs football team who made such a deep run this year. Oh, Matt Boys, also a very lively student section member when he's out. Yes, he is. All right, timeout just about up here. It'll be De La Salle ball. I mean, there's really only one thing the Cubs can do here, and that's shoot the three. And, and foul at this point. I mean, it's got a hope for a turnover here. This full court press has given the Pilots some trouble, but they've been able, able to break it rather easily. It's roughing just an unfortunate day for the Cubs as, you know, De La Salle's gotten... Donnelly's a little heated here, but De La Salle will go to the line. Linus Gauman checked in now. Glassner will shoot two. You know, they need a, U of D needs a big three here and a miss from Phoenix Glassner. Two is almost impossible. One, we would love to see. First of two, good. It's gonna be a four point lead there. I think he shoots a couple of these during his free time. He's been known to practice. <laughs> 47.3 seconds left here in the fourth. Makes both five point lead. Some confusion now. Looks uh, like the pilots are gonna go into a press but they don't know quite how to get into it. Gerard McCoy throwing into Leroy Blyden. Get trapped, gets, ball gets tipped. Gerard recovers it. Hatcher with the ball. Drives in out to Heron. Heron's gonna give it to Leroy. He gets double teamed, barely gets it to Hatcher. Hatcher's gonna put it up, no, no, no calls, foul. he goes down hard. They're gonna call it jump ball now. U of D ball. It'll be U of D ball. Timeout. Timeout there by the Cubs, as Downley wants a second to draw up a play. They need a three here and they need to foul anybody but Phoenix Glasner. Should be their goal. Phoenix Glasner's been knocked down from free throw so far, so. Yes, yeah, so I don't think he's missed one. Any notes from Mama Schubeck? No, no, no notes right now. 31.3 seconds left now as the Cubs That's are gonna have an opportunity for the three and then the foul, hoping the Pilots only make one and then send this game into overtime. That'd be a huge, huge make. That would be massive for the program. Although I think Connor would have to sit the bench there for the, the, the overtime period. We have already agreed. Schubeck called the first. I got overtime. Oh, I gave up half my third, though. You're so kind. That, I, what I, a bad I, brother I think we're gonna have to is. Trade some, trade some overtime time here, Connor. Well, let's let's get there first. Throw it to Xavier Johnson. They're going for the two here. I think they're hoping for the fouls. He misses. Ryan Hatcher gets it. Takes the three. Good. Makes it. He makes the three. Bang! Ryan, Ryan Hatcher. Hatcher. Oh, they say it was a two. 60 no. to 62. They did? No. Were we at 58? We had been, right? I don't think that was a oh, two. Oh, no, that was a three. Yeah, we were 57. It was My a mistake. It was a five-point game. Sixty, sixty-two. It's about 20 seconds left. The Cubs will, Cubs will look to foul here. Miss hopeful. Cooper clutching the equipment. Yes, she's very, very nervous right now. She wanted a, she wanted a blow away victory. That, that just is not happening. Not right a now. fan of these close games that U of D gets themselves into. <laughs> Apparently not. Twenty seconds left here in this timeout, and you've got to be thinking they're gonna foul, foul, or maybe they get a nice little lucky odd. Uh, Little violation here, five second violation. Can't give up an easy bucket. I think it's eight, is it? Is what eight? What's the violation in high school? Because I know it's five pro. It's eight seconds, I think. It's eight seconds. Is 
Xavier Johnson gonna be guarding the inbound. Cubs in the full court press as expected. Looking, got a foul. Cubs aren't gonna foul, 16 seconds left. What's the foul there? Hatcher takes a shoulder to the face. De La Salle is gonna call a timeout right before that. And this refing's very interesting to me. They've called a lot of ghost fouls on U of D. But yet De La Salle has thrown their shoulders around and faces all night and there has been no call. Timeout there I think negated the call that may have happened after the whistle, but still the refing has not gone in U of D's favor whatsoever. Not at all. There's been a couple holding calls that were very, very questionable. Twenty-five seconds left in the timeout. About fifteen seconds left in the game. This game has gone flying by. Only eight forty-two. Seventeen seconds left here in the timeout. Hey, that means Chipotle's open, Connor. That's what I was thinking. Here we go. I believe it's Dio Sal's ball. Spizer, uh, Spizer set to throw it in. He's 6'5", he's got a lot of height. Yo, Spies looking around. Hatcher guarding him now. David That's gonna be David with the foul. 12.5 seconds left here. All right, now these are big, big free throws if you're De La Salle. And you just need, a, you need one miss here if you're U of D for a shot. Two almost closes you away. Number 11, Amari Portis, the sophomore here. Here we go. Gotta wonder if the moment may be a little too big. Miss it. First Makes one is first. good. It's gonna come down to the second free throw here by Portis. 63-60. Getting some encouragement here by Glass. Phoenix Glasner. Here we go. Second. Makes it. That's good. Four point game. Cubs gonna be hoping for a miracle here. They need a three. Gets the foul, okay. Two free throws are needed here from Leroy Blyden. 7.4 seconds left. Leroy goes down hard on that. All right, we need two here from Leroy. Makes one. Namaka Akechi subbing in for Braden Holder. Akechi's a big boarder. And 6 7. Leroy's second free throw. Makes it. Dribbles in, almost left it too short. I know. 7.4 seconds, 62 to 64. Are they gonna get a call on the baseline? Refs can't give them anything. They say De La Salle called a timeout in time. That is brutal. U of D had him, had him stuck. That is not what the Cubs needed right there. They thought they got a call. Cubs now talking, student section talking to Elijah Collins, former former 